In this video, we'll be installing the FAFO controller by Blacklisted Garage. Um, so what this consists is, of is the controller with the VEST software, a DC to DC adapter. Um, this will convert your voltage to a 12 volt, which will power the headlight. This will be the anti-spark switch. Um, so this cable here is going to be your on and off. This will be to the battery. Uh, here's your hall sensors throttle and your phase wires so first we're going to open this case now we're going to go ahead and disconnect everything to the controller down here at the bottom will be your pedal assist your headlight on and off switch, hall sensors, battery, brake switches, throttle, phase wires, and this I believe is the, the temp or learning wire for the battery the motor so now the only thing holding the controller in is going to be two phillips screws now that we have the old controller out here's the fast hole by blacklisted garage and so it will retain the same mounting holes so just line it right up take the same screws that you used for the original controller So the first thing we're going to plug in is the headlight, the red and black 3-pin. Next we'll do the hall sensor and the phase wires. So this will be the hall sensor. And the phase wires will be like so, starting from the left, we'll go blue. The middle one is going to be green. And the right, so the right one will be yellow. All right, we got that hooked up. So we'll tuck that away. And here's your throttle. Your throttle will be the six pin connector. Now all you have left is your on and off switch and the battery. So the battery will go like so. And the on and off switch will be the white four pin with only two wires on it. You'll no longer need the brake wires or your pedal assist, so you go ahead and tuck these away. Alright, now power it on with the OEM power button. And if you get the blue light, you're good to go. Give it about two seconds for the vest to turn on and read the motor. And that's it.